Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Kaguya-sama Love is War on Season 2, which is on Episode 4, or overall episode total number, which will be Episode 16. Anyways, this episode right here, really nice and funny. <laughs> Excuse me. Dang. We have to it that, um... The first part of the episode begins with, like, um, Kaguya-sama having to avoid, um, Kaicho or Shirogani-chan or Shirogani-kun for about a couple days, three days to be exact, and she didn't like the idea, she says, what am I doing? Hayasuka, Hayasuka's like, how come you're not making any progress after all this happened, you know? From the freaking time, from the birthday, fireworks, how is it that you did not make any progress on that? <laughs> We have to it that, um, let's see here. That Kaguya Samus made a couple complaints to Hayasaka and ends up saying that, I, oh, I bet you cannot get the present under your thumb or again to like, like you in about a day. And of course, Hayasaka's like, you know what? I'll show it to you. And the next day, we see, um, Hayasaka chan in a different kind of form, and she seems to enjoy, like, um, Playing that kind of form, and of course, at the same time, you know, um, she was pretty cute. There's no denying that, okay? <laughs> we have to it that, um, she does hang out with Shirogani, ask him a couple questions, you know, although, like, um, what's more funny in the end is that Shirogani does reject her offer to, like, him go out, you know? And of course, Hayasuka is really upset about this, you know, because Kaguya-sama told her to do it, and Kaguya's like, oh... I'm very, very sorry. And then the next part of the episode, you know, um, involves, what you may call it, <clears throat> Shirogani trying to find out who could, like, speak out for him, you know, to run for re-election. Eventually, we have to it that, that Shirogani gets the idea that, um, Shinomiya or Kaguya, Kaguya-sama will be, um, the right fit for the job. Fujiwara feels offended by this and just leaves, you know. And Shirogani tries to ask um, Kaguya-sama at the classroom, you know. Let's go meet behind a building involving something else, you know. And then everyone's like, oh my god, this is gonna be a confession, you know. And then, you know, a lot of people are spreading rumors, especially in the internet and multimedia. I'm like, what the hell, man? This is just too hilarious. Eventually, they all meet at that certain place or alley whatsoever. And it gets a little bit more, um, funny and everything all together, you know, all, all out, not, nonsense. But, <clears throat> what's more hilarious is that everyone's just like, G, 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 staring at them, seeing what they're doing, you know, that kind of thing. I'm like, oh my gosh, man, I am just like enjoying this sh all day, all night. <laughs> but aside from that, um... <clears throat> Although, like, um, Fujiwara was making the worst, but saying, Hey, look, can you just hurry up already? You choose Ka Kaguya-chan over me, you know? And it was like, oh my gosh, I love Triangle! I'm like, oh my lord, Fujiwara, are you making this more complicated than it has to be already, you know? And we have two that Shirogani whispers in Kaguya-sama to help her help, help him out with the with some speech outros for her for him running re-election, you know? And she says, oh, yeah, sure, I'll tell you, I'll, t I'll, I'll do it for you, you know? And everyone's like, hey, 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 what's going on? I didn't hear anything! And then eventually, like, um, Kaguya and Shirogani ends up leaving right away while the chaotic riot just started, you know? Um, eventually, you know, it becomes a tie. Okay, Hayasaka loses in the first part of the episode, then the second part comes in with, um, it becomes a tie, you know? And next part of the episode involves re-election. It looks like Shirogane himself is actually doing very well. I mean, <clears throat> he already has a lot of freaking like um, votes. On the other hand, and we have to it that um we get a, we get a new character called Miko Miko Aino or something. She's like a first year like Ishigami or something. And eventually we get to know that she's actually like um academically high, along with her acquaintance or assistant that's helping her out, you know, that's, I don't know, but aside from that, um, she seems to be a big fan of Fujiwara because of how she played the piano at a young age, and then she could speak five different languages, and her scores of that is at like average or something, which is really, really hilarious, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, she's like a Fujiwara, like a fangirl, if anything, that much I could tell you, okay, I mean, she idolized her, that kind of thing, fangirl, that's all I could tell you, Fujiwara, fangirl, and I'm pretty sure like me, there's a lot of people who are watching Kaguya-sama right now, loves Fujiwara too. Come on, man, I'm not the only one. 
If I'm not, well, yeah. Okay, she's trying to run for president, presidency or student council for the school just to like, um, what you may call it, um, make it a better place. But you know a funny hard point thing that Ishigami points out when Shirogane looks at the flyer towards the end of the episode, you know, when they seem to be antagonizing her in a certain way, which I find what the hell's wrong with them kind of thing. But the flyer that she, that she was passing out, uh, it makes me think otherwise if she's really even worthy. Even Fujiwara's like, uh, these kinds of flyers actually turn people off, man. I mean, I won't be surprised why it doesn't <laughs> do it like that. Even Fujiwara's like, oh my gosh, what is this, you know, kind of thing. And she ends up having to, like, um, <laughs> rip it apart after, like, um, <laughs> what's going on, you know? I'm like, well... It is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, um, this episode involves Hayasaka losing after can't get Shirogane to like fall in love with her or get her to go out. And then the second part involves Shirogane trying to grab like um, Kaguya-sama for the help of speech outros for his re-election. And you know, multimedia and everything, rumors in the school spread out, very hilarious. And then the next part involves a new character, Miko Aino, whatever her name is, the, the first year, the first year whatsoever. Um, she is pretty much like um, trying to run for student council election to make the school a better place. Which I go like, I don't know what kind of better place you mean, but the flash she sent out, sent out, man, Ishigami mentioned that she really is pure and good, but at the same time, it really turns people off, man. I mean. Look at the flyer. I mean, I ain't gonna deny that, all right? It really turns me off, and tur it really doesn't even work that way. I really hope she can realize that, but she doesn't. Ironically and very ignorantly. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, Hayasaka son. I know. I knew we'd seen a lot of sides of a lot of sides of her, but gosh dang, man, she was <laughs> number one in this episode, at least in my eyes. I mean, who could deny that? Of course, Fujiwara is the second, and then, you know, third is Kaguya. And you guys might be thinking, yeah, you are crazy. Yeah, cringy and crazy. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot! Toot!